Hi everyone, it's UF and welcome to the last video of Mark 1 getting upgraded to Mark 1 Pro. Roll the clip. So what you just saw is a clip of abilities of uh, Unistock Pro uh, upgraded from Mark 1. So first one was um, gun switch from one to another so you can switch between two. And the second clip was about hip holster and the abilities to throw the grenades, leave your gun stack out of your body. Okay, so uh, the plan is we're gonna build um, Mark 1 and then we're gonna upgrade it uh, with the upgrade bundle to Mark 1 Pro. Let's get to it. So here's our Mark 1, getting dusty, let's open it, okay, we are greeted with some safety stuff, it's duct tape, baggies, so what we are building here is a winning prize uh, for uh, Universal Games that I'm hosting. If you want to know more, there will be an invitation in the link in the description. If you want to take part, there is a prize to win this one actually. All right. So the most upgraded part will be the bat. Uh, I will assemble uh, Mark 1 and then reassemble this just to uh, make the updates on the bat. Back handle slides in, front handle slides in. And what I will be doing, I'm not gonna uh, screw it together because we will be eventually losing this part. Okay, so this will be our, like, pre-made uh, Mark 1. We're gonna leave it for now on the side and uh, I'm gonna show you the upgrade bundle. All right, so this is the package with the upgrade bundle. The two-point sling, the butt, uh, the tiltable butt and all the other stuff. And the hip holster. The holster. And the rest. So, uh, we will have belt for the holster. This is a two-point sling for, obviously, two-point sling. This one is a tiltable butt. It will come like this to prevent from damaging. More on this later. Here we have a bag um, of uh, additional blocks, blocks, an extension for holster, and a Y-axis blocket. This will be our first thing to do. What I will do now, I will just um, detach the um, butt and start with uh, with up update on the butt. So those two are going to be installed in this place using the screws that we have already on the uni. So what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna, we're gonna have to unscrew those two, apply uh, the uh, update and we're done. So those nuts are the self-locking nuts, so we're gonna have to have some tool to unscrew it. Let's start with the bottom part, bottom screw.
Now, when we take out, it's gonna be loose, so have this in mind. Yeah, and you can see it's loose. Now, let's add both of the apply applicants. The way you should add it goes like this. This one is the right side. We're gonna start with the left one. It's gonna fit perfectly. This is how it fits. It's gonna just slap in. And then we're gonna use the same screw that we had. Add it. Slide it through. Match. And it's back. But we have this like a butterfly effect element. Okay, let, next, next one is the other side. Put on the screw. So it can like move. Now apply the nut. Tie it back a bit because we don't, we don't have to move it later. And here we go. The top one is ready. Uh, the bottom one is ready. So we're gonna do the same from the top and we're gonna have a butt. Uh, the Y axis blockage done. So unscrew. Taking out the screw would make it loose, obviously. So remember about that. All right, so we have, we've lost the screw. Now we're gonna apply the update from one side and the other one. And it looks like this, it, it can move. And now the screw goes back. Remember to, you know, go through all the mechanisms, all the wheels and stuff, and aluminum part. All right, pushing in. Now, uh, there are cavities uh, for the hexagonal shape, so set them in. And hit them in. Okay, so how tight do we want this to be? We want this to be tight enough so we can move and feel that we actually have some friction. So tighten it up and try it. I would give it a bit more. Oh, there's a friction enough. I would say it's okay. So because of those, uh, those screws are self-locking nuts, it's supposed to stay for longer. But you know, it's a mechanism, so it might uh, get loose so it's good from time to time to you know t take care of your stuff uh, i will be using those m3 nuts to block my uh switch between two guns there is no point to explain more you, you saw the clip really next thing will be we will be switching the butt so what we have here let's open it what we have here is a bud let's take the old block out we are sliding out the butt and now you can see this one is much different in design. I have it glued the um, uh, rail that will keep your butt straight all the time. So, uh, and also there is no slidable part. So this is really done and the, sh and the shape also is profiled to my arm. So hopefully to like a normal person arm. So the idea is that you are supposed to be set in one line. And whatever you do, you only do the switching part and everything else works for you automatically. Before we go and mount the butt, let's see the buggy with the blockages. Those one are the new blockages for the P PVC pipes. So you can have, there is a two of them, you can have them set this way or this way. So you can have your screwing part uh, on whichever side you will prefer. I advise you to go outside so you can reach um, on the other side because then it's not interrupting. This is how I use it. So this is how I'm going to implement on this one. This of course can be switched easily. So what we have to remember is we need to have those um, additional piece of plastic below so where the rail goes. You see the cavity for the rail, unscrew, slide on the butt, all the way down. Okay, so you can see that there is a plenty, plenty of uh, attachments here, here, there is one on the um, on the blockage here, the other blockage also have the attachments. This is for two-point sling and wherever you would like to hook your um, gun stack, pretty much on every point on the gun stack. 
let's screw it now what we're going to do we still wait there is a rubber gun four rubber guns on the on the two point sling and they will be of use what we have to do let's do like this we have to go like this and mount the rubber gun like this way and the rubber will serve uh, our pvc retraction for the pro usage now let's open the lever it should slide in nicely let's go all the way and we set with the new butt so now uh, you can see if you go, if i gonna have the butt uh, my movement will be to tilt the butt and if i have the angle i can go and tilt the uh, butt itself towards what we have in the gun so there is a six degree jump between every um between every angle accessible and uh it works like a spring uh, mechanism that you pull off do the uh, setting and let go and it's gonna fall in because of the rubber gum here retraction let's add another piece slide it in all right we're in so we're gonna do the test i'm gonna screw it here Screw it tightly then i'm gonna slide the butt to the blockage here let's block it and now we're gonna put the rubber on this part here the cavity for the rubber like this okay so we have put the rubber gum on the uh, on the cavity and now uh, when we are when we will push it back when we open it should shoot back uh, to our arm okay so there is one more uh, important stuff on the butt that can be upgraded does not have to be but i i have it on my on my uh, gun stack and it's pretty useful this small dome is created so you can self-lock uh, your nut for the lever and this is done because uh, this uh, nut also works and when it works it sometimes getting a little loose so you have to tilt it back from time to time all right let's let's apply the dome we'll see how it's gonna work let's go a little bit back here now what we need to uh, set for ourselves is the tension on uh, the lever so this is important for a few reasons because when you slide it out and you lock you have to be able to not push it back uh, against you so you can see now that it's a little bit too loose so i'm gonna have to do slight turns few you really have to this is really personal stuff so you have to f find your position so it can slide and once it's locked it's locked for this one i will do my preference which you just gonna just gonna see um, and you do what you what you feel like once again i'm free here after a lock i will be doing one small turn like this let's see it slides when it locks it locks a little bit more it's always if you, if you will be applying the dome it's good to give it more Give it a bit more because it's gonna work anyway and it's after i did mine i regret that i didn't do one slight turn more because now it's glued so it's gonna stay like it is forever oh so i have some friction when i block it's blocked i can easily tilt my butt and i slide it slides yes this will be the perfect position for the dome okay and now I have perfect and one slight turn like this and now i will apply the dome so we're gonna use the super glue that i gave remember you are gluing the dome around uh, the washers so when you apply it it will fit on this nut and touch the plastic and there the plastic is the place where will you be putting the uh, the glue just a few drops on every side one two 
three, four. And we are setting the dome to the position. Now we wait. I'm gonna leave it for now. Actually, let's slide it back. And we'll see if it's glued together in a few seconds. Okay, let's get to the, the rail upgrades. So what I've made is plenty of um, blockages for the main rail. Two of them are, I'm calling them empty. And two of them are having loops for your uh, two-point sling whenever you want to have it on the rail. So the cone uh, for the um, shotgun is interrupting uh, if you want to have all the guns accessible in the game. We're gonna get rid of it and use our blockages to set our new boundaries whenever we want to. We will be unscrewing the hook. It's really important. All right. So, now we can screw the hook itself to the aluminium rail instead of the cone. But before we do this, I will apply two of the blockages. One without the loop. The way you want to slide it depends on really on you. Uh, I will do it to the right side. This way. Slightly screw. And I will add also one for the uh, two-point sling attachment. All right. Now we will do the hook on one of the two holes. I am having mine a bit closer here, just a preference. So we're gonna use this, the old nuts that we, we have used before for blocking the hook. How would you want to do this is depends on you because you can have a few ways you can either use the two centimeter screw go like this and use the nut you can go with a three centimeter screw that will black like this and my preference is to unscrew all of it because it's gonna be permanent enough for every gun that you have in the in pavlov uh, that you don't need to do anything else once it's, the hook is set so you will be set for every gun uh, after this setup. And this, this is about the very heavy guns that really need to be carried uh, on all the distance. So I will be do, I'll do this, slide it back, and I have this situation here. All right. Throw in the hook. Now I have blocked the, the rail, uh, the hook, sorry. Now the nut for the hook. And we're done. Yeah. So you can see I'm blocked. So I'm gonna slide the uh, looped blockage all the way to the to the back. And now uh, I will be doing my boundary for the shotgun with this blockage later when I'm gonna set it up. Okay then. Here the setup nicely. The four centimeter nut. Slide it in. The three centimeter one. Now when we have the dome glued, the rubber gum will be going on the other side. We will not be interrupting with the retraction system. It's gonna be work a bit better. Let's slide the butt to the system. Put the rubbers in. All right. All right. It's not shooting much. It's not gonna, you know, knock off your teeth. But it's very helpful when you're not seeing stuff and you should do like quick switching under the black. You saw it. Before we go to the hip holster, uh, I wanna show you the two point sling. So they are very expensive. I was shocked. It will rise the price of, of the upgrade substantially. So I've decided to make my own. What, what we can see here is the belt, two centimeter. I have hooks. Uh, the blockage is done by my, uh, my printer. I also have the other side where you can adjust stuff. You can 
open it here. This one is typical stuff. Yeah, so here you can make it uh, bigger or smaller. There is now a few points uh, on the Mark 1 Pro that you can hook up your two point sling. So there is an option to hook it here on the beginning on the butt. This is usually a startup point. You can hook it here. You can hook it um, on the four points actually on the on the update here for the uh, going around of the uh, arm on the arm also you can have it on the other side all of this and these ones are uh, for the having them on the front of the body and this will be you know movable if, where you want to use if you don't if you're not using the shotgun for example and there is of course the one on the beginning instead of the uh, cone i did this one and i get I got this. So, uh, what I have done instead of buying expensive stuff that uh, actually is hard to actually get, I bought this cheap Chinese product. It's cheap enough to, uh, to get the price to where I wanted to have it for, for the update. Uh, the problem is that, uh, first of all, this is two parts and I have to sew it together so it's not looking super cool. Luckily, thanks to this, the weight that you are going to put on it is evenly distributed. So this also, this stays on the arm and slides pretty, pretty nicely on the, on the rope, on the sling. All right, uh, two point sling. I am not using it entirely because I've updated myself and my, my gameplay to the hip holster, which is much harder to, to handle. And I will not advise you to use it ever again. I mean, ever, ever, never. Only if you feel like you want to get like a uh, super pro or you, you're missing the, the ability of throwing grenades uh, while having a gun stuck uh, at your uh, like sling or something. If this is interrupts you, then the, like me, then the hip holster is the thing you want to have. To assemble the hip holster, we're going to need three parts and there are screws already on the, on the thing. Unscrewing, we're sliding the rail inside and screw it back okay so this is the um, uh, one piece and what you want to do you want to create a blockage that you'll be that, you, that your gun stack will meet when you go uh, against when you go holster your uh, your gun and when we see in this like this we are sliding it this way i've uh, tried to find the perfect position to block it and have it nicely holstered and this is the, the one that I came up. Of course, this can be, you know, changed to, to your needs. We screw it together. Now, this is the hip holster. And this is the belt that I'm giving also uh, with all the upgrade. So I have a two point sling and the belt. Yeah, everything is there. And we're gonna use it, obviously, to thread it through the holster. So, uh, threading through, like this. nice and this goes on your hip and you're set and good luck with learning <laughs> if you would like to you know take this uh, uh, venture uh, to learn uh, the hip holster it's not gonna be easy you're gonna lose the gun stack it's gonna fall it's not faster than uh, two point sling or one point, one point sling but the feeling is just something else so this is only for uh, weirdos like me so there you have it mark one pro it's assembled. What's the pricing? I have no idea. It's not yet at the uh, website. Will I inform you? Probably. Uh, the amount of hate that I got from, from this whole endeavor is just like down pressing. So I'm, I'm not so eager to, to follow up on everything. This will be the, the last thing that I da then, uh, did for uh, Mark 1. And probably this is going to be the end of the journey for a perfect gun stack for Pavlov. Okay, uh, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. If you have watched all the way, don't subscribe because there is not going to be much. See you.